Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome back, or welcome, to Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and this is episode four. On today's episode, we're going to hear the story of Audi L. Murphy. But first, this episode is brought to you by The Bearded Detailer. Be sure to head on over to thebeardeddetailer.com, and uh, you're going to do this because uh, that's your one-stop shop for all of your automotive detailing solutions. While you're there, and you go over to the swag store, and you're going to go buy a few things, make sure you use the promo code TOH10. What this does is it gives you 10% off your order, and what it also does is it lets the bearded detailer know that 75% of the profit is going to be donated to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. That's a good thing now, isn't it? So go do that. And, uh, and now, a tale of honor. Audi L. Murphy. He was born in Hunt County near Kingston, Texas, and joined the United States Army. As a second lieutenant in Company B of the 15th Infantry 3rd Infantry Division, he took part in World War II. Second Lieutenant Murphy commanded Company B, which was attacked by six tanks and waves of infantry. Second Lieutenant Murphy ordered his men to withdraw to prepared position in woods while he remained forward at his command post and continued to give fire directions to the artillery by telephone. Behind him, to his right, one of our tank destroyers received a direct hit and began to burn. Its crew withdrew to the woods. Second Lieutenant Murphy continued to direct artillery fire, which killed large numbers of the advancing enemy infantry. With the enemy tanks abreast of his position, Second Lieutenant Murphy climbed on the burning tank destroyer, which was in danger of blowing up at any moment, and employed its 50 caliber machine gun against the enemy. He was alone and exposed to German fire from three sides, but his deadly fire killed dozens of Germans and caused their infantry attack to waver. The enemy tanks, losing infantry support, began to fall back. For an hour, the Germans tried every available weapon to eliminate 2nd Lieutenant Murphy, but he continued to hold his position and wiped out his squad, which was trying to creep up unnoticed on his right flank. Germans reached as close as 10 yards, only to be mowed down by his fire. He received a leg wound, but ignored it and continued the single-handed fight until his ammunition was exhausted. He then made his way to his company, refused medical attention, and organized the company in a counterattack, which forced the Germans to withdraw. His directing of artillery fire wiped out many of the enemy. He killed or wounded about 50. Second Lieutenant Murphy's indomitable courage and his refusal to give an inch of ground saved his company from possible encirclement and destruction and enabled it to hold the woods, which had been the enemy's objective. Second Lieutenant Murphy received the Congressional Medal of Honor on August 9, 1945. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you very much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast, be sure to leave a nice rating, a a nice review. Tell your friends and family. If you need any more information, you can visit us on Facebook and Instagram and at thebeardeddetailer.com slash TOH podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them my way as well. Be sure you send them to Tales of Honor Podcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.